Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Gus says Happy New Year. Lily says Happy New Year. Lily, you gonna tell everybody Happy New Year? Sitting over there in the shaded area. And today, I just want to tell y'all, I'm not gonna do a weird food combination tonight. Uh, gonna be spending some time with family. We'll start off something different with the New Year's. Uh, my New Year's resolutions is to uh, try to get y'all some better friends out there. Make some more decent videos that y'all might enjoy. None of which that I have come to mind right now. <laughs> And uh, lose some weight. Be more. Um, I want to be more. Uh, a little more closer to the Lord. Uh, me and the family. So uh, I'm gonna have to start slowing down on my bad words that I use sometimes, and uh, some of my attitude problems that I have built up in me over the years but uh, let me kind of show you what we did last night me and my son-in-law went and got a barbecue pit and it was in a box and we put it together and this thing took hours matter of fact we didn't even finish it last night we had to get up this morning and finish it but it's a pellet smoker and the pellets go in here Fill that hopper up with pellets and set your temperature. It also has Bluetooth on it. You can run it from your cell phone. And today we have some chicken and some pork chops and some sausage and some bratwurst and hamburgers. But they are chicken burgers and some plant-based burgers. So we're going to try that out. Oh, I like chicken anyway. And I'm not too sure about the plant based burgers, but they look good in the package. They look like regular hamburgers. And we're going to try them and see how we'll let y'all know if they're any good or not. Try to eat a little bit more healthy. But anyway, guys, uh, I would appreciate it if y'all would put in the comments what you would like to see from me this year and your new year's resolutions it is hot again today but it's very windy i think we have a cold front coming sorry if y'all are having trouble hearing me i'm on my phone i left the gopro at the house but uh i worry about this new year what compared to the last couple of years what this year new year could bring us i have a lot of uh employees at work they have the covid but they're not losing their taste and their smell like uh the last deal so maybe it's just a cold but they're testing positive for covid um i refuse to get the vaccine teresa refuses to get the vaccine my family refuses to get the vaccine but i'm not holding anything against anybody that, that got the vaccine it's like the it's like the world is split, not just the United States, but uh, the whole world is split on the vaccines. Um, so we'll see what happens. It might be the right choice, and it might be the wrong choice, but you never know. You just have to kind of follow your gut. But anyway, guys, I truly hope you all have a wonderful new year. New Year has started out warm, so I believe we're not going to have much of a winter. We're already into January, and we have maybe had three cool or cold days this last year and so far, over this, this winter so far. But the hard freeze that we got last year was in February, February 13th to 14th, I think, which only lasted... A, well, we was down for about three or four days with power and stuff like that. No water. All the lines froze up. So we'll see what this year brings us. 
those of y'all that are going through the rough winter right now and snow and stuff some of y'all are haven't really had the winter that you thought you were gonna have we're gonna have and you're enjoying the warmer weather a lot of us down in the south we enjoy the cooler weather because in this part of Texas where I'm at uh, growing up here we probably only have um, three days out of the whole year that freezes that gets down to 32 or below and that's it that's all we have and we'll have a whole month of it over 100 degrees in August July and August sometimes a couple of months so we truly enjoy the cooler weather uh, we have a problem with mosquitoes down here and the really cold cold weather kind of uh, thins them out a little bit but not too much they breed like crazy but anyway, uh, Teresa's got the beans and cabbage going inside, and uh, they went to the store, so it's just me here, me, Gus, Lily, and the cat, and uh, my son-in-law's in there. But, uh, yep, please put in the comments what y'all would like me to do this year, and uh, I'll make a list, more giveaways, more prizes. Uh, a lot of I uh, got a lot of new subscribers that uh, I do truly appreciate. I don't know how they joined with the kind of videos I make, but uh, I'm just a normal person doing everything, doing every everyday things that like everybody else does. But anyway, God bless each and every one of y'all. I'll say that at the end of every one of my videos. Some of the newcomers that came on might not like that, but uh, if you already subscribed, then you already know how my videos end. At the end of every one of my lives, I'll tell Reagan to call me. Reagan is actually Southern Boy Prepper. We spend most of the holidays with them, Christmas and Thanksgiving. We have not spent New Year's with them yet. And several times throughout the year, we meet up for birthday parties or just to hang out and do stuff. So when y'all hear me say, at the end of my lives, Reagan, call me. That's Southern Boy Prepper. Um, Y'all go send him some love to the new people. And uh, subscribe to his channel. Got a lot of channels that I truly enjoy. And I try to shout them out. I kind of went down on the shouting out part of the uh, videos uh, on my lives. Because a lot of videos, a lot of um, YouTube subscribers that I would shout out stopped shouting me out. So... I stopped shouting them out. I think it's a one for one deal. If I'm giving you some support, you should try to support me and my family. But um, that's all I got to say about that. There's some channels that we make friends with uh, that we'll be friends with probably the rest of our lives. Uh, Michael with Frogfoot Holler. Y'all go show, show some, some love to him. Michael kind of got discouraged. Uh, and stop making videos where well, hopefully we can talk him into start making a video you know maybe once a week or something like that um, the beach lady she makes excellent cooking videos enough and edited um, she had a series called um, what if uh, I need I'd like her to get started back with the what if videos and uh, uh, Terry Maddox is up and coming she's brand new to the YouTube situation um, but she's uh, doing good videos um, American expect American expect does quality excellent videos uh, everything he does is like top-notch video making uh, so show American expect some love now we got him over a thousand here a little while back and I was grateful to all y'all for doing that. North Shore Preparedness. Uh, if it wasn't for North Shore Preparedness, uh, I don't think me and Reagan would be where we are today. Uh, he shows us, shout, he gives us shout outs all the time on his lives. And we appreciate that. And he's going through some hard times right now. So if y'all could go over there and uh, watch a couple of his last videos that he made, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, he's up in Canada and you know what they're they're doing like in Canada. Uh, Armadillo Junction. 
Armadillo Junction also makes quality videos. Uh, I like his content. Um, he's a great guy. He live, doesn't live very far from us. Uh, Papert Homestead. Uh, that's another um, couple. Uh, husband and wife is trying to get up their numbers and their hours, their watch time hours. You go show them uh, a little bit of love. You need to rewind a little bit what I'm talking about. You can kind of write down uh, some of these channels and just kind of just go over there and say hello to them and tell them Happy New Year or something like that. Merry Christmas. Uh, also, uh, me and Kelly um, and Teresa and Reagan are very Christmas oriented, so don't think that I won't uh, play something Christmassy in August for y'all. <laughs> Do some kind of Christmas video. Anyway, guys, uh, love y'all very much. Thank y'all very much. The channels that I forgot, I apologize. Uh, I just came out here on a whim, trying to remember everything, everything off the top of my head. I'm getting older, so I forget uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, and if I did forget your channel, please put a comment in the bottom, and uh, I'll make sure that I write it down. But uh, my apologies on that. I'm not trying to exclude anybody. I just uh, just forgot. Um, Gloria White with... Um, Gloria has a channel, and I cannot think of the name of her channel. Somebody please put in the comments the name of Gloria's channel. Um, I can't think of it. Uh, Gloria's channel. I go to it all the time and watch it and comment on it. And sometimes she won't comment back for months. But that's because YouTube doesn't let her see the comments. Um, we talk all the time as well. But there's my son-in-law. Hey. He's coming out here to check his barbecue pit. <laughs> you want to see what it looks like? Anyway, guys, y'all take it easy. Uh, have a happy new year. We'll holler at y'all later.